most people with MS don't look like there's anything wrong with them. You don't see the, the disease. Jennifer Hawkshurst was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, a progressive and incurable disease affecting the brain, spinal cord, and optic nerves. It has no known cause and typically strikes in the prime of life. Over the years, patients develop more symptoms, more severe symptoms, and they tend to last longer. Several procedures and tests may be used to confirm a diagnosis of multiple sclerosis. A medical history of the person is compiled. Testing is done on reflexes, balance, coordination, and vision. MRI scans can be performed to provide a view of the brain. And a spinal tap can also be done to check spinal fluid for signs of the disease. During an MS attack, an area of the brain becomes inflamed and immune cells begin to destroy a coating around nerve fibers. The multiple scars or lesions left behind are the characteristic signs for which the disease is named. Each time a, a new area of inflammation develops, it damages the tissue in that location. Uh, the body works hard to repair the damage uh, and to uh, utilize other nerves to take over the job of the, the damaged nerves. But over time, the damage accumulates and that leads to a, a worsening disability. Jennifer started her treatment program shortly after being diagnosed with MS. I went through the steroid treatments. Um, that was really, really rough. It takes you on an emotional roller coaster. I cried for <laughs> two weeks straight. <laughs> um, I gained 10 pounds in a month. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> Now Jennifer is receiving weekly injections of an interferon agent that has been shown to slow the rate of progression of disability in relapsing remitting MS. Right now things are tough for me because I am still in a lot of pain. I haven't come to a place where, you know, I'm, I'm in a, at a stable point yet. You know, I still have my bad days um, and I try to be positive. It changes absolutely everything for young people. They face an uncertain future, but at least the possibility of devastating neurologic disability, loss of their roles, independence, and it scares them to death. Multiple sclerosis is not considered a fatal condition, nor is it contagious. Many people with early stages of the disease enjoy active, productive lifestyles with only sporadic symptoms. And contrary to popular belief, the majority of individuals with MS do not become severely disabled. 